Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 100. And we're going to be looking at subtraction questions. Now in previous tutorials, we have used the number grid, so that is one option when we are doing these questions. However, we're going to be using the vertical format. Okay, let's have a look at the two questions we're going to be working through. We've got 84 minus the missing number equals 37. And the second one is the missing number first minus 45 equals 53. So those are our two questions with the missing number in different positions. And as I've said, you can use the number line for this. However, we're going to use the vertical format. Now the first step is that we are going to reorder the question. Have a look at the first question. We've got 84 minus something equals 37. Now the objective is to make sure that the missing number, that's the box, is on one side of the equal sign and the numbers are on the other side. Example 1, all we have to do is to swap these two around. Okay, so we've got the missing number on one side, and on the other side we've got 84 minus 37. 84 minus 37. We are now ready to do the calculation. So we've got 84 minus 37. We're going to label the columns, units and tens. We are now ready to do the subtraction. Always check the sign. So the units column first, we've got 4 minus 7. Okay, 4 minus 7. And that's something we cannot do because 4 is smaller than 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from the tens column. So let's cross out number 8. 8 minus 1 is 7, and the 1 we have taken from there, we're going to add it to the units column. So the units has now become 14 minus 7. 14 minus 7 is 7. And now we're on the tens. We've got 7 minus 3. It's a nice easy one. 7 minus 3, the answer is 4. And that is our answer, 47. We can write this in the original question. 84 minus 47 equals 37. The missing number was 47. Okay, on to example B. Now here we've got the missing number at the start. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the number 45 and move it across to the right. Now it's minus, and as you're aware, if we take it across, it becomes plus on the other side of the equal sign. So the question now reads, the missing number equals 53 plus 45. So we've got the missing number on one side of the equal sign and the numbers on the other side. Now we're going to calculate this using the vertical format. Now if you feel confident, you can do this with mental arithmetic. This is not very difficult, okay? It's quite straightforward. I'm just showing you all the workings. But units, tens. Okay, we are ready to do the addition. As always, we start on the right-hand side. 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. The tens column, we've got 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. And that is the answer, 98. We can write this in the original question. 98 minus 45 equals 53. The missing number was 98. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 100 for subtraction questions.